So we're here at ESWC and I'm with Todd, who just got eliminated from TED. How does it feel? Bad. Why? Uh, I think I got a little bit unlucky and didn't play that well, so there is no loser bracket, so no second chance. I made top eight, I think I could have done a lot better than this, so I'm a bit upset. Okay, and uh, recently you moved to Korea, so how's that working out for you? Good so far. I like the food and I, start, I started learning the language a little. And the internet is really good, so I like everything. I've been practicing a lot. Yeah, I really like it. How does that compare to China? Uh, it's more expensive to live in Seoul than living in Beijing. Uh, the food is different, but probably less spicy, and there is like a lot more Western food, I guess. Uh, then the internet is much faster than Chinese internet. It's much easier to play online matches and practice. And yeah, that's it. So, are you planning to move back to China now? Olympics is over. Uh, I don't know yet. I need to think about it because it's a little bit annoying to move like this country all the time. Last time it was such a hassle with my my luggage and everything I had to bring, my screen, my computer, so I need to consider it and think about it and maybe later I will move back. But how long are you going to stay in Korea? At least two more months because I took an apartment for three months and now it's just been a month, so... Okay, <coughs> and for this ESWC, um, how did you practice for this event? Uh, only ladder, a lot of ladder. Like how many hours per day? From three minimum to ten. So only ladder, no custom games, yeah, no, no special matchups. Very few custom games. Some league matches, but very few of them really like only mostly ladder. So you practice a lot. Yeah. So are you satisfied with your current shape? Could be better. I feel I always feel like I could play better than I did, and I always feel like I need more more practice than I did. All right, <coughs> coming back to ESWC, what do you think of these uh, playing conditions? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. The screens is white screens, and the linings, like, uh, yeah, I have a really hard time playing in the dark. At home, I always play with broad lights. Uh, it's really bad for us to play in the dark. And, yeah, I, it played it played a role in my mind to be playing in these conditions, like kind of ruined my mood. Did so you make any complaints? <laughs> I've been making complaints at every tournament. It doesn't do anything, so I kind of gave up. I didn't make any complaints. I made a request asking them if they could uh, put some more lights on because it was really, really dark, like no lights at all except for our computer screens, and they didn't do anything about it. So. so <coughs> Now that almost every tournament is like a uh, trouble for you. Yeah. So not trouble, just the playing conditions. They don't care enough about them, I think. So uh, do you do anything to stop all of this or to just adapt better at the tournaments? I try not to complain much and try to adapt for the best, but it's really hard. You see tournaments like this with so many upsets. Then when, if you look at the playing conditions, I'm not surprised there is so many upsets. People don't, people they just check the games at home and they don't realize it, but so many players play much worse than they would have at home or in optimal conditions. So playing conditions affect games and results a lot. Yeah, of, of everyone. Okay, <coughs> and so what do you think of the group stages, your performance in the group stages? Mm, it was okay, I lost, I dropped a few games I shouldn't have. But I made it out, so I guess I can be satisfied. But you lost to Moon like 1-2? Yeah. What happened? He played really good. Uh, yeah, He played much better than me in the games he won. But Actually, I thought in the two games, the two games I lost, I thought uh, if I played better, a little better, I could have taken them. And the game I lost, I thought I was uh, the game I won, I mean, I thought I was losing it and I, like, I kind of deserved to lose it, then I won it, so it was a bit weird series. Did you see his expression after he got uh, knocked out in his WC? Uh, no. Okay. So, um, 
you also lost one map to Sase. Yeah. In the second group stage, or first group stage. How does it feel? I was pretty angry because I'm not very good friends with Sase anymore. And I lost to him in WC3 recently. He knows my style really much. So that helps him and also yeah, I don't know I don't really know how to play when I face him but right now I'm trying to work my mind up and I did already for this tournament. When I played him uh, like a few days around yeah, maybe two weeks ago in WC12, I had a really bad mindset and I played really bad because of this because I didn't want to play him. But now I already worked my mindset and I played much better than I did last time and I won. So I hope next time I can do even better and not drop him up against him. Okay, <laughs> now let's move to WC3L. Uh, your team hasn't won any game yet as far as I know. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Uh, we played. Re they played without me really good teams and with me we played against attacks and just the clone war didn't go really well. We didn't play that well so we're gonna practice harder I think and try to win the rest of the clone wars. Do you think the lineups were a problem for you guys? No, the lineups were what we expected it to be. So why is why is Gravitas so good in NGL but uh, not very good in WC3L? I don't know. Just in NGL, I don't think Gravitas is like so good in NGL. Just Rob made a few 4-0 and the other players did pretty okay too. So in the end, the team without me got first. But I think at the playoffs it's gonna be another story. Like if if we were to play MYM or. Or SK, it would be really hard. It would, we wouldn't be like that good, suddenly. So how do you feel in your new home? Good. It's like much smaller than my apartment in Beijing, but more expensive. No, I mean your new home as in your new ah. team. Um, feeling good so far with all the other members. I don't have any trouble and the managers are pretty cool too. Okay. I heard you flame your manager once. Who? Sunny. Ah. <laughs> I flamed him more than once actually, but there is no hard feeling. We are like friendly and stuff. Okay, so any final words? <coughs> uh, yeah, I would like to thank uh, my team sponsors, uh, XLBet, Betmos, and Steel Series. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, what? you have something to show me? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. Okay, if you ask for it. Can you show me the book? What chapter do you want to see? Uh, There's like basics, like how to introduce yourself and things like this in, like this in Korean because I've been studying Korean. Do you like Korean? Yeah, it's really, it's really fun to learn how to read the characters. It's not that hard, I think. Show the swear words. <laughs> huh? Swear with the insults. Ah. <laughs> Can you say them? Ah, uh, come on, man! You're gonna make me look bad. <laughs> like what? What? What are you staring at? Is mold show that boy? Uh huh. Or none of your business, Namia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you.